So for the last two years, since the pandemic began, there has been rumors that TikTok would be banned in the United States because of the possibility that China may be using the platform to spy on Americans. So that has been getting a lot of tension with the primaries coming up or the primaries being here that has been getting a lot of attention so i'm going to break down the implication of the possibility of TikTok actually being banned in the united states and whether or not it's symbolic of curtailing free speech and the implications of trying to ban a platform for american users i'll break it down in this video but before i do this is the legal code and on this channel we discuss a wide range of legal topics whether that's public policy which is important to all of us and a, a great focus especially during this time legal things that you should be aware of whether you have a small business and i want to share some things for you to avoid to avoid legal pitfalls i will break it down in, in on this channel as well as celebrity shenanigans we can all learn from their pitfalls and there have been quite a few celebrities getting into trouble in the last few weeks and i only talk about celebrities in so much that you can gain some insight to apply to your life i don't care about pop culture i'll tell you time and time again i only care about it if i can couch it and present it in a way that benefits you because they're doing better than all of us monetarily they don't need more attention but we can use their pitfalls to learn from and improve our lives. So with that being said, I am a real life attorney. So if you would like the opportunity to work with me one-on-one -on -one to troubleshoot and discuss some legal concerns you have with your small business, whether you are beginning estate planning and you want to review it with an attorney before you actually hire one, you want to know what the process is like, or if you're pretty much tired of DIYing and Googling and going on various search engines to figure out what you need to do in your next step for your business, you can of course set up a consultation with me. There is a link provided in the description box. Now, without further ado, let's discuss TikTok. Whether that this platform will be banned in the United States and what that's symbolic of. Now, TikTok is such a famous platform at this time. It's outpacing many other social media platforms with 1 billion active users around the globe. Through its parent company, ByteDance, it's based in China. TikTok has around 86 million users in the United States alone, and the app is quickly become an integral part of American culture. Despite its popularity, two U.S. presidents, Trump and Biden, both are on the same page about banning TikTok, like it's probably the only thing that they've agreed upon. And multiple government bodies have expressed concern over TikTok's data practices, the lack of security, and lately there has been buzz around a complete TikTok ban in the United States. This is not the first time ByteDance, again, the parent company of TikTok, has faced the possibility or the speculation of a ban on a social media platform, but rather the most recent in a long line of lawsuits, investigations, and problems that have plagued TikTok's operations in the US. Now let's dive into why TikTok security is seen as controversial and questionable from the lens of American officials and how likely a ban really is. Now, everyone is aware that TikTok, is, its popularity grew exponentially since the start of the pandemic two years ago, especially among teens and 20-somethings who comprise more than half of the user base. While many people use TikTok, of course, to watch funny pranks or record their own versions of the latest dance craze, there is a growing concern over the app's data privacy, international security, and there's been a lot of scrutiny from the United States government. Now, are these concerns justified or Everybody is TikTok no me. more compromising of data than Facebook or Twitter when it comes to your personal data? And also, isn't it apparent that 
people compromise their own data because most people lead rather public lives in terms of documenting everything on social media. So would TikTok cause the compromise or breach or are people willingly doing it off the platform? Nevertheless, let's look at the events that have led up to TikTok's current precarious position in the US. Now, if we go back to 2020, there was a much there was a lot going on during that time, of course. President Trump first attempted to ban TikTok in the US with an executive order outlawing transactions between ByteDance, the parent company, and US citizens. He cited national security as the reason. Then he backtracked eight days later with another executive order giving ByteDance 90 days to split off its US TikTok business or sell it to another American firm. Now ByteDance then engaged in discussions to sell TikTok to Microsoft, Oracle and Walmart, but nothing materialized. And then a series of lawsuits by ByteDance and TikTok influencers ensued, which effectively staved off the ban. So then fast forward to June 2021, President Biden then revoked Trump's executive order, but began an investigation into the security threats TikTok might pose. By June of 2022, rumors had resurfaced about backdoor access to U.S. user data by employees in China. Federal Communications Commissioner Brendan Carr sent an open letter to Apple and Google calling for them to remove TikTok from their stores due to surreptitious data practices, according to this um, communication. Part of the reason for the stalled investigations and access and actions by the U.S. institutions is the opposing factors at play. The answer to how free speech on the American internet plays out when hosted by Chinese app raises a bunch of issues related to foreign policy, political ideology, internet, international data security, and much, much more. The decisions the government makes regarding regulations or a ban placed on social media platforms could set a precedent for how other platforms like Facebook and YouTube are dealt with legally and politically for years to come. For now, the questions surrounding security and privacy remain as TikTok continues to assert that user data is safely stored in Oracle cloud servers in the United States. But other recent reports based on leak audio from actual internal TikTok meetings have suggested China can access this data anyway. Because of course, just because the server is here doesn't mean the data is stored only there and can't be accessed from another point. So what are TikTok security problems? So TikTok has moved American user data away from China their Chinese servers to Virginia with a backup in Singapore. Though the question of whether or not the employees in China can still access user data remains unanswered, but we can all speculate as of course the data can actually be accessed. Now TikTok's relocation of American data and its commitment to a robust cyber security policy have not been all the United, have not served to squelch United States security concerns. Another Senator, Josh Harley and Rick Scott claimed in press releases that ByteDance has members of the Chinese Communist Party on its board. They further suggested that the app cannot legally refuse Beijing's request for the data it collects, some of which it gathers even when users don't have the app open. While these charges have led to a categorical ban on the app, they have led to several government agencies wanting to ban the use, are actually banning the use of TikTok on government phones. These agencies are like the Department of State, Department of Defense, TSA, Department of Homeland Security, US military, and the Pentagon. However, it's worth noting that other categories of apps, such as fitness apps, are also banned by the military as they track, because they track location data, which can compromise security, of course. Some technical 
experts question whether TikTok is just a convenient foreign scapegoat on the issue of data privacy, as giants like Meta and Snapchat have also become under fire. Another issue that's been raised is TikTok's questionable practices with its user base. In 2019, two parents filed a class action lawsuit against ByteDance for collecting data on children under 13 without parental consent. The company agreed to a $92 million settlement. So with that being said, how likely is a ban on TikTok in the United States? While an all out ban on TikTok in the US is possible, I mean, it's already happened in other countries such as India. A lot of water would have to go under the bridge for it actually to happen anytime soon. Aside from disallowing the app on governmental phone, the federal government has done very little thus far to regulate TikTok as well as other platforms, let alone a ban for all US users. Congress has yet to create an overarching federal data privacy law. The American Data Privacy and Protection Act has been proposed as a bill, but it hasn't been passed. So again, this territory is sort of like the wild, wild west. And it's hard to regulate data security or privacy with laws that aren't even in place, that don't even exist. So it's like no man's land. The US is not the only country that aims to ban TikTok. Pakistan, again, India, Afghanistan have already banned in place, but more for moral reasons, not necessarily privacy concerns per se. Now, proponents of the ban are intimating that China is harvesting information to spy on America. Yet, as I posed this question earlier, is TikTok really to blame? Americans give up their information pretty, pretty easily without the use of this particular app. If China wanted to spy, they could really just Google and you could see the lies of anyone. Everyone's social media presence is curated to tell an onlooker minute details about their lives. So again, we're going to pose another question. <clears throat> Why is this considered a threat to security? Proponents of the ban say that TikTok is used to steal personal information about its users and influence the direction of the United States. The app surreptitious, surreptitious data practices include the mass collection of browsing history, keystrokes, patterns, biometric identifiers, draft messages, and metadata, as well as the text, images, and videos that are on a device's clipboard. But don't other platforms do this as well? So why aren't those platforms being questioned? Next, I ask you, even though there's bipartisan support to ban TikTok on both sides of the aisle, there's support for this. Wouldn't it be political sabotage for anyone running to campaign on this? Given that TikTok is not just a wildly popular app, it's integral to the younger generation who do not readily use Facebook, Instagram, and soon Twitter. And the reason why is that American companies haven't come close to replicating TikTok's algorithmic addiction. TikTok's success in making the app addictive for Gen Z's makes it politically risky to ban it for multiple reasons. It would be tremendously unpopular, number one. The already despondent and dissatisfied, dissatisfied young voters are supremely important right now, and any president, senator, representative who supports such a ban would evoke contempt by the youth. Already they're out of touch with technology and the priorities of the young generation. DC will now be seen as oppressive. Whether that would drive voters to the other side or cause them to not vote altogether, there, there's not good outcomes for a ban. And in the court of public opinion, it will not look favorably. Banning TikTok secures no votes. Furthermore, government intervening in or overreaching to this extent, meddling in free speech in ways that seems questionable to the democracy that America says that it has.
Lastly, a band will be easily circumvented, but also set another unpleasant censorship precedent that ironically will make the U.S. look a lot more than China in a way that it has censored speech. So what do you think about this possible ban? At this point, it's just rhetoric, like I say, from DC. But it would be really, really challenging and messy to implement it. But you know what you think? I want to know what you think in the comments. Is there a real threat? Does TikTok really pose a threat to security? Or is this being masqueraded as controlling free speech? What is really at the root of this? I want you to let me know in the comments section. With that being said, this is The Legal Code. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know. Do you think that this is censorship, the US way of censoring speech? Do you really think there's a legitimate privacy concern? Like I said, in terms of even if TikTok doesn't exist, the ability for China or any other nation to spy on the US is still available through other apps and platforms that Americans readily use. So let me know your thoughts and I will see you next time. Bye bye.